the two steel members are joined together using a 30 degrees craft weld determine the average normal in average shear stress resisted in the plane of the weld okay so here is the weld in they are uh, they are joined uh, they are joined by uh, welding it together okay and here's the plane of 30 degrees all right so uh, you asked to find the normal stress in the shear stress again so back to uh, terminology here what is the normal stress the normal stress is the stress perpendicular to the plane so if you have the plane here as if you have a plane uh, like this so here's a plane okay so the normal stress is this uh, is the result of the normal force perpendicular to this one so this is your normal force and it results in the normal stress okay what is the shear stress shear stress is the result of shear force and the shear force is the force uh, parallel to the plane so here is your shear force and that is uh, that is the result of the shear stress okay so uh, hope that reminds you something okay now this is uh, a very simple question just two lines but uh, the tricky thing is that you have to understand what you need to plug in into the formula you need to understand how the plane uh, how the force uh, break it out okay so uh, like I mentioned here so uh, let's let's cover this one I'll only focus on the left figure in the right figure I just drew okay so I have 30 degrees angle here right so the plane is uh, inclined 30 degree all right and the shear force is uh, parallel to the plane the normal force is perpendicular to the plane and you have a 50 you have a 50 kilo newtons vertically okay so let me illustrate it over here again so this angle is and right there and you have a 15 kilo newtons there so since this and this they are parallel to each other so this angle is the same as this angle and it's also equal to 30 degrees all right so this is a uh, very simple uh, it looks easier to illustrate now all right so the shear force the shear stress is equal to this, is equal to the shear force divided by the area and what is the shear force the shear force is the component uh, the x component of this 15,000 kilonewton force so that gives you a 15 cosine of 30 degrees 15,000 okay 15,000 newtons times cosine of 30 divided by the area what is the area of the uh, inclined angle back to the figure over here so this length is uh, let's see if it gives you so you have uh, the width of 20 okay so you have the width uh, the width of 20 mm in uh, the depth is 40 mm okay so here is another important thing so this distance uh, it's not 40 mm okay because you are in the inclined angle so if I illustrate it over here oh shit, I messed up if I illustrate over here again so you have the inclined angle in here this one is 40 mm okay this one is 30 so this is the uh, the depth of this one and this is the height uh, the, the wide of this one okay so the area of this one is this length times this length so you have 20 times the unknown and how are you going to find this length very simple so you are given this uh, which is what we're looking here so this is what we are looking so using trigonometry again so this one is so you have side 30 degrees equal opposite over hypotenuse so hypotenuse, hypotenuse equal to 40 times side 30 okay so Oh, uh, let me write it down. 
side study is decre side study decrease equal to opposite over hypotenuse so then hypotenuse is equal to 40 divide divide by side 30 okay so i have side divide by 30 i have 40 divided by side 30 can talk today times and uh, the width which is 20 mm okay so that is the that is my area now put this into calculator and that gives you a four one two megapascal for the shear stress okay now for the shift for the normal stress again is equal to normal force divided by the area what is the normal force go back over here normal force is uh perpendicular to the plane and that is also mm, the y component of 15 kilonewtons so that gives me psi 30 15 000 times psi 30 okay divide by the area okay what is the area uh, in this case now well, it's still the same area, okay, but it's perpendicular, the force is perpendicular to that plane, that area, so we still have the same area, which is 40 over psi 30 times 20, and, and this, put this into your calculator, that gives you 4.69 megapascal, okay, so that is your final answer, that's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel, in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.